Um, on what's happening. So uh, I'm still in Porto. I've just witnessed one of the best Liverpool games, let alone European away games I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, my throat's a bit sore. My head's a bit sore. I'm tired, but I'm absolutely made up and absolutely elated. It, I mean, it goes without saying. Um, we sang our hearts out. We we pretty much drank Porto dry. Uh, I managed to accomplish a pseudo rainbow flick in the middle of the square last thing of the night but the most important thing for me and it's just something I thought was worth committing to video right here right now is you know I've been saying for a while particularly since Jacob Klopp's come in but especially this season that this Liverpool team is something special like something really special and that specialness so to speak is kind of the context that's been stripped away by how amazing Man City have been this year like They've blown the league away, absolutely. And because of that, it's easy to look at what Liverpool are doing and go, oh no, it's not quite there, it's not quite right, not quite good enough. Um, not the finished article just yet. And I've, I've felt that myself at times, you know, when, we, when you draw to Chelsea, you draw to, you draw to Everton, you draw to West Brom, you lose to West Brom, you lose to Swansea. You know, they don't smack of the kind of results that a top quality finished article side, you know, they don't have those games. But I do genuinely feel like, Liverpool are on the right track, and you know, you, to go to Porto away. Now, this is not the new camp. It's not Barcelona, it's not Real Madrid, it's not Bayern Munich, of course it's not. But this is a, a European pedigreed side, unbeaten domestically, top of their league, absolutely flying. The atmosphere in there last night was absolutely ridiculous, an absolute cauldron, banging drums, everyone in the stadium, shout, shouting, cheering, mad. It was a ridiculous atmosphere, and I thought Liverpool might wilt under that. Uh, and they never did. They, they stuck to the game plan. They enacted it, and that hard work and determination matched with a phenomenal tactical plan as well, and the right ethos of how to play football got us through there. And you know, a one 0 win would have been amazing. To win five 0 to go there and not to score one or two, which would have been blind, and would, would have been one of the best European away results we'd had in a very long time. You know, we've not been in the last 16 of the Champions League for nine years. To rock back into it, to rock up into Porto, and to win so comprehensively, and you know, it could have been more as well, is fantastic. And all the credit in the world goes to Jurgen Klopp and what he's building this Liverpool side. If you read the stories about what he did at Mainz and you read the stories about what he did at Dortmund, you can see that he's building something similar again on Merseyside. And um, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I felt like I needed to say it. I felt I needed to get out there. I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the season. You know, it, it, the wheels could come off. Of course they could. You know, you could lose the next game. You could lose the game after that. Because I've said this before, that is the beauty of football. Anyone can win any game. But you know what? If you've got your attitude right, you're set, you're determined, and you add top quality footballers. And Liverpool have got top quality footballers, by the way. Don't let it be forgotten. Mo Salah, Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino are amongst the best of the attacking talents in world football. Amongst them, and defensively, adding the Virgil van Dijk in there as well. Great. And even players that we weren't convinced were necessarily up to scratch. Starting to look good as well. Carius, Andy Robertson, youngster in Trent Alexander Arnold, not even counting Joe Gomez. Jordan Henderson, who's missed Swartz the season, looking good. James Milner, who's supposed to be past their board and rubbish, absolutely mercurial in the midfield. Genie Wijnaldum, the list goes on. Liverpool got some really, really talented players. They've got a phenomenal manager. And like I say, I don't know how the season's going to go. At this point, I don't care. And I've said this before, once again, and I will say it again, once again. Football's about the journey. Football's about the experiences. Football's about seeing things, doing things, and, and, and having songs to sing, and having things to tell you, your kids and your grandkids. And whilst... 5-0 over Porto in isolation is great it will be made greater and it will be made truly iconic by putting together a fantastic Champions League run and here's the thing what Jürgen Klopp has done here he's not guaranteed anything he's not guaranteed a place in, even in the the next round even in the quarterfinals but what he's brought back he's brought back hope and he's brought back the ability for Liverpool fans to dream we sat round dreaming about who you want in the quarters, who you want in the semis, who would be a dream final, because, not because it's going to happen, no, of course not, because, again, that's football, we can talk about it because he's allowed us to talk about it, because he's brought those dreams back into our lives, and that's what being a football fan's all about, that's what being a Liverpool fan's all about, until the point where, inevitably, you do win some trophies, but until then, this is what you've got, this is the way to support football, enjoy it, drink it in, soak it in, the Reds are amazing and I am so privileged to watch them at the moment. It's class. Listen, leave your thoughts on things 
anything around Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp, the mighty Mo Salah in the comments below. Drop a subscribe on the channel if you're enjoying the content as well. Vinny is at 30,000. And a like. Nice one. The Reds.